Welcome back guys to Golden Sun where we are the champions of Colosso and with Bobby having given us a long conversation after as well as a reward that we never checked out so let's check that quick. We got ourselves the lure cap increases random battles when equipped which I'm pretty sure will probably lower everyone's defenses at the moment plus inundate us with tons of battles but to be honest it's probably a really good item if we want to go grinding and get some more experience at any point we really need to get rid of some of these items that we have in our menu here. But apart from that, I've been given little comments from you guys over time, so it's time to do a little bit of backtracking. And more to the point, someone said, can you push the throne? No, we cannot push the throne. But with that said, we will move down. Or maybe we could move, use move on the throne, I guess we try it. Let's try what you subscribers say, because if we move to Babby's quarters, I've been told that we can claim ourselves the cloak pool, a very important item. Sleeping a lot helps to delay the need to drink more drafts. You'll find them early and return with more draft. I wouldn't have to do this. You could just accept aging and kind of pass away gracefully. I don't know. Blah. Bobby's face is very pale like that of a dead man. It's no use worrying though. There's nothing we can do about it. Well, I don't know about that. We'll find Lemuria in time. But we found ourselves the cloak ball. Honest, is that cloak ball what you desire? It is indeed. That cloak ball is very precious to me. I can't just give it away. Perhaps you could borrow it. Take it with you on your quest. Indeed we will, so Ollie's got the cloak ball. And gave it to Garrett it seems instantly as the thing went away, but to be honest I don't think this is one in Garrett's skill set so much. Personally, I see that fixing up with Ivan's skills, if you know what I mean, considering the list of random stuff he has, like Halt, Cloak, Mind Read, Reveal, it, I think it kind of fits in with them, so hide away in the shadows! We can, becoming invisible! But of course, without the shadows, it's kind of a null point. So with that said and done, another item gained. We move on out to the town. Let's get moving to more adventure. I don't think there's anything else to do here anyway. There may be, but still. Charge on out, because we need to find ourselves a way to backtrack. We need to find ourselves a way out. Apart from that, however, maybe it might not be a bad idea for me. Oh, look, I can reveal that again. I've already claimed it, though. What's the old lady saying? So quiet, the hustle bustle of Colosso seems like a dream! I'm sure it does, I'm sure the tourist group are trying to get back as well, but I don't know if they will without us being able to sort things out. And let's sell a couple of things here, not buy, sell. Right, let's sell ourselves the Arctic Blade, a very useful item along our journey. But for now, it is kind of dead weight. We'll keep on us the lure cap though, just in case of any grinding. Or stuff like the vials that we're getting en masse here, restores 500 HP that we could sell for some nice... Well, moolah. Moolah! Some nice money indeed. But nothing really to sell here. We've got a synergy armor here that we could get rid of to get a little bit more space. And not that we don't really need that much. A heel ring that for some reason we've got but doesn't really provide us that much and of course Mia still hasn't really filled up her slots so there we go. There's a little bit of selling, a little bit of added to the artifact list of the shops there. Didn't manage to check mind you if there were any new artifacts which probably would have been a clever thing to do so where are we heading? Well our present location there's a massive desert over there and a path that leads down here as well so we'll go, go check these out. Just in case there's any Jijin secrets, or to be honest, what we're looking for, I've been told, is a cave. So let's get moving and see if we can find our way back, because we're on a rescue mission. Both to the desert and to somewhere else. So with that said, let's get going with lots of feverish delusions or blast attacks. Go for a weakness strike, why not? A little bit of extra experience never hurt me. It only buffed me, that's for sure. Scorch comes in to do the tiniest bit of extra gain, if you know what I mean. Never really does that much, but what we really need to do here is start to get some other gin, so we can have like six gin for everyone else and update their classes. So the Gondawan Cave is ours to explore. We've found where we need to be by the look of it. So we've got ourselves something to lift over here. I don't know which way to go. There's two forks. Well, the thing is, we kind of just explore, don't we, really? See if that gets us to the right location or finds us more treasure. More treasure is never a bad thing. A kobold appears. What weakness are you, sir? Well, I'm pretty sure you won't survive a full range of attacks. Right then, I think your weakness is either fire 
fire or lightning, let's put it that way. Fire or wind, one of the two, but no way to cross from here. It seems that we've got to do some working puzzles to build ourselves a shortcut. Of course, Garrett didn't get to attack there, and Garrett's weapon is fire-based, so we'd have found out definitively from that attack of his weakness was the right one. I'm pretty sure Ivan's, or Isaac's summon, in fact, or Oliver's summon, matter of fact, is an earth-based one, but when mortal spirit gets drained, we don't really need to do anything, do we? We'll drain your spirit, sir, I apologize greatly for the discomfort that you may feel at that moment. Imagine if we had the lure cap on now, we probably wouldn't be making many steps before a mission just went Pow. Right, nothing hidden there. Mind you, there's kobolds galore now, so now we really do get to check out exactly what's going on. So, we'll attack over here. To be honest, I think you are a fire type wanting. Hmm. Flare storm. If we go in with a tornado as well, or a whirlwind, or a storm ray will do. And attack over there. Well, there's your definitive weakness. It's Ivan's to be getting this one. Either way, we do do damage to take out two. And with that said, we can actually just defend and gust to win. Because Ivan will attack first. Nicely done, sir. 353 experience, and Ivan levels up with it as well. Learns the Major's high impact. Gains a lot of stats on top of that, so we're about getting some people leveling up again. That's always good. Keep on moving, though. We didn't get any experience for Colosso. I thought defeating these trained fighters would have given us tons. But all the same, let's get battling. Hmm. Yeah, you go over there, Garrett. I don't know if we'll be able to weaken him enough. With Garrett attacking to be able to go straight in there with a gust and take him out. In fact, I don't think that is going to happen. So we may as well just go with another ran set of random attacks. I think, to be honest, we'd have had to deal another little bit of attack damage. Yes, I'm pretty sure that would have been the thing. Never know though, Gust might have done the job. Right, we've got skipping stones to a treasure chest. Mind you, a treasure chest that easy to get to? Oh, I was about to say, it's usually a mimic. Not this time. Oh, treasure chest up there as well. A treasure chest that easily to get up to get to. Uh, usually a mimic? Maybe? No, no, it's an apple. So, we can get ourselves tons of lovely stuff without any issue. We got ourselves lucky medals again here. Boost attack. Right, who are we using that on? Well, one of our physical attackers. Now, Oliver's physical attack is up quite a bit more due to the fact that, of course... He has an extra class over Garrett, but I'm just going to go with Garrett anyway. They're our main physical troop after all. Best to go with. Alright, so that would have brought us all the way round and past that treasure chest. Instead, we got both for our troubles, so that's not hard. Rat Warrior and a Kobold appear. So with that said, we go to work yet again. I'm pretty sure you're fire weak. Yeah, let's go that way. We can set up some attacks in the end anyway. Oh, nimbly dodges the blow. That's not what I wanted to see, sir. Well, we're going to attack you like that. We're going to use a blast. No, that, that's the wrong one. Scorch. And we're going to gust you and hopefully take you down. And me is going to stand around for a bit. Only one hit there, but H3 damage is good. Rat Warrior runs away! Why'd you do that? I want your experience. I want to see if you've got any special items for me. Don't run away. Stay and let me bash you in the face a bit more. But here we come round to be able to sort out a shortcut by the look of it. It's just move for this, isn't it? Or not so much. Right. Uh, what's our normal job with this one? It's not force. Why am I having trouble remembering what to do at, like, this kind of thing? I'm, yeah, I was pretty sure it was move. I was wondering why it didn't hit. And so a little hopping, scotching place has been built. will enable us to get further onwards. A reveal there reveals nothing. The only reason I checked that is just because it looked a bit suspicious to me overall. All these rocks around. One of them's got to be a treasure chest, hasn't it? Right, we'll push you in there, which creates a stepping stone that we'll never actually need, but also gives us the ability to just pass straight over. As we make it... somewhere. Right, nearby Calais. 
which means it's into the desert we go next. Because we missed ourselves a little bit. We missed ourselves a certain gin. Now I'm wondering what is this expanse over here, which is completely blocked off from the rest of the world. You can actually go down all the way. To be honest, if there's secret stuff on maps, I'd expect there to be something like here, but I guess you can't use stuff like reveal to be able to find if there's any secret hidden items. Undead appears, and of course will actually disappear within quick time. I guess we don't get- oh, we get a little bit of experience, let's put it that way. Backtracking will cut our experience for a little bit of a time, but now that we're back to Clay, it's time to undertake the mission, after getting ourselves a gin. Right then, sir, give me all my HP. We'll fell you without any issue whatsoever. And then, head backwards. Right, so we missed something in the Lamaca Desert, and we know now that we don't have to really worry about the heat values. Wish will just cure us up with the greatest of ease, after all. So where are we headed? Into the desert below us, is it? Or somewhere else? That's what I'm wondering, where did we miss this? And so after a while of switching around and trawling the desert, I finally found two conjoined rings of stone! house one of our gins, so it's time to claim it without any issue whatsoever. We finally saved the gin, who's just been burning in the desert. The Jupiter Genie Smog has joined Garrett, and of course Ivan wants to put in his words as well because time, time has passed and it's just hot in here. So with that said, we give the gin to Ivan and then see what class we can upgrade him to. So as you see his HP takes a nice bump up. PP takes a nice bump, basically whenever you improve class, a nice big bump up happens. No new synergy it seems, that we've got ourselves high impact recently as well. So with that said, Ivan gets more and more powerful with his class upgrade. So let's get out of this desert and back on our trail. Now the real question is, will retreat take me where I entered this desert? Or will it take me to the very start of the desert? Or will I have to walk some more? Nicely done. Right then, so we're out and ready to move. Well, that said, a wish will nicely top everyone up after, well, let's put it this way, our journey, our adventure. And where we're he next heading to is all the way off up there on Lumpa. So again, with a power of editing, we've done a little bit of our backtracking, but you don't want to see all the journeys. I'll see you there. So after a little bit of traveling, we make it all the way up to Lumpa. It's time to head inside and see if we can save someone, of course. So let's speak to the guards once again. What's with you? You want to enter Lumpa? Well, we did earlier as well. Well, you can't go back to where you came from. Well, that's mean, sir. That's mean indeed. But now that we've gained ourselves more synergy, can we sort out things that before we couldn't? As I'm sure you guys remember this little bit of a section. Right then, so... With a door that needs us to cast a little bit of frostiness. Let's do that indeed. And start our infiltration. It's finally time to save Master Hammett. Let's get in there. I like the music there, like, oh my goodness, you've done something amazing. You're going to save Master Hammett, are you? As we enter Lumpa, the main town itself. So let's get checking around. Have you been in Lumpa long? Yes. Hmm, your face doesn't ring a bell. I guess you don't really stand out. Yes, I've been in here all the time. Well, nothing hidden. There's something in there, actually. One of those gravestones has something, doesn't it? Let's mind read you. We can't leave Lumpa. Not when the Dompa's men are watching like that. I guess the town of Lumpa is completely stuck for civilians, but here we go. A sleep bomb inside that grave. Well, the eternal sleep bomb, I'd like to say, but something's odd here as well. Right, let's just check around. There's a jumping spot down over here. Right, what's going on here? I was about to say something's odd. Well, that's for sure. So a synergy stone lies there. Is it true that the Dumper kidnapped Hammett and extorted ransom for him? Yes, it is. I guess the Dumper's men were telling the truth. No, it isn't. What? Okay, so wait. The Dumper's men were telling everyone that they were being bad people. I'm really confused by the sentence. Dumper's too old to lead, so his men do whatever the Dumper says. Aha! That's why, of course. Once they get the ransom, they'll set the hostages free no matter what. But the merchant caravan hasn't left yet. What's going on? I want to speak to you or mind as well, madame. Seems she's got nothing on her mind. Lumper died 
when Dumper was still young. He made Dumper a lonely man. They said that's why he spoiled the Dumper so much. What a mistake that was. I'm sure. Well, let's keep checking out the houses and whatnot. To be honest, there's got to be something here. Down at the bottom? A barrel has itself another vial within. So a storeroom is being raided by us. Raiding the criminals, or more to the point, raiding the poor common folk here. Alright, we've got ourselves a weapon shop and the whatnot. Doesn't seem to be anything special hidden around. The village is sealed, so we can't buy or sell anything. To Dompa doesn't really care about my business. Ah, okay, no weapons or armor to be sold. That's a shame. I was wondering if there was any new kind of ooh, crazy stuff now that we've gained access to the town. That we could have gained access to it a lot earlier, if you think about it. Lumpa passed away long ago when the world was hit by a huge flood. Lumpa had gone south, and he was never seen again after the flood. Alright then, sir. Well, nothing seems to be hiding in your house. Unless it's down here. Nope. Old lady. Lumpa was caught in the Great Flood while traveling with someone named Barbie. Hmm, really? Well, Barbie's still around, you know. We've had no freedom ever since the caravan came to the village. We can't leave the village. No one is allowed in. I hate it. Right then, so we've checked out nearly every place around here. There's still a couple more. Goodies to find. Ollie's got himself another nut. And again, even more places to check. Ian's chef is the only one in town who can enter the fortress. To be honest, that's that box over there, isn't it? Another lucky medal found. Maybe we can get ourselves another assassin's blade if we're lucky. Alright, let's talk to you as well. The fortress was built during the Dumpers rule. Dumpers, just the Dumpers. He built his fortress so well, not even an ant could sneak in. I'm sure, well. We're gonna try it. And we're a bit bigger than ants, we're a bit more noticeable. The Rising Thief, Lumpa, and his son Dumper. They were great men. I'm sure. Dumper has no idea what the Dumper's doing. His village would change if Dumper heard about the Dumper's evil deeds. So everyone knows that their leader is just evil, but they're not performing any kind of uprising because they're probably the amount of men that are still under his command. May live in Lumpa, but will never work for the Dumper. My late grandfather traveled the continent with Lumpa. It would be very sad to see the things the Dumper is doing now. I'm sure. Well, we'll sort this out, sir. We'll sort this out. We're here to do do good things, after all, to do good things. We're do good as doing good things. Alright, let's check out the local inn. Do you allow people to sleep? Do you want to sleep at my place? Yes, yeah, sure. You must be kidding. Go rest in your own home. Okay, I thought there would probably be something like that going on, considering other things were. It doesn't matter how much we clean or wait for customers. No one will come. I just come, but your husband's like, go away. Go sleep in your own house. I just have to hang in there. I'm not closing my inn till the village is free. But then, of course, he assumes that we're part of the town anyway. So that's probably why. So, this is what I wanted to check out. Because suspicious things are suspicious. And roots around. Somewhat obvious when you've got reveal. So we frost cast there. Oh, you, you have to cast reveal to... Oh, that's mean. That's mean, that is. So you kind of have to stay within the box and while reveal's duration is still going. Well, we made it that time. That was a little bit mean bit of the puzzle, wasn't it? So we walk all the way around, ignore the guards who don't even look around to notice me moving around. And of course, we saw something here. So let's make our way in. Alright, a gel cell that's- well, okay, that's not the way we wanted to go. I thought this was gonna get us into the fortress, but it seems we found ourselves a ton of treasure chests. An antidote to Garrett. An elixir. Another lucky medal. More chances for another assassin's blade. A smoke bomb. 44 coins. And some water of life, which is definitely the more valuable one of the lot there. The water of life being super valuable. So we've gone all the way around there and found nothing. I was expecting that to be our, ha, our secret way in, but no such luck. Of course, that's required for you to get down again, because this is not going to be able to be frosted again. You want to see Dumper? I do. Dumper is in the fortress. You'll have to go there if you want to see him. The security at the fortress is very tight. Well, let's check out... The lay of the land for this fortress here, well... Are we sneaking or something? Because it doesn't look like we're getting through. Don't come any closer to the fortress! How 
can D Dumper be so devious? I can't believe he is the son of Dumper! Not even a mouse could enter this fortress while I'm on the watch. He'd have to be a shadow to sneak past me. Hint, hint. The Dumper is a genius. Not releasing Hammett is so smart. It's a great way to use Hammett to keep extorting money from Calais. Oh, you actually like the kind of things he's doing, do you? Well, that said and done, it's time to sort things out because shadows are obvious. And we've got our newest ability. Of course, you can't do this until you've gotten yourself the cloak ball. So we make it straight past the guards and about to enter the fortress. We'll continue on with this next episode, guys. We've done ourselves some backtracking and we're on our way to save Master Hammett. We got ourselves another genie as well, one that we missed along the way. So we continue on next time. Join me then. Bye-bye.